hello viewers welcome back to another section of my youtube channel tutorial in this video i'm going to take you through reciprocity theorem so this part of the circuit network theorems is for the analysis of electrical networks so the reciprocity theorem is applicable to only single source circuit so a single source circuit so for you to apply the reciprocity theorem, the circuit you are dealing with should have only one source in it. Now the reciprocity theorem can be stated in two ways. So let's see the first way. So the first way of stating the reciprocity theorem deals with an ideal an ideal ammeter and ideal voltage source so what this term is saying is an ideal diameter sorry an ideal ammeter and ideal voltage source when inserted into two different branches of a linear circuit can be interchanged without changing the reading of the ammeter what i mean is if you have a linear circuit here, here is our voltage source and this is a resistor, this is another resistor, this is another resistor, so this is R1, R2, R3 and this is our ammeter reading the current here and this is the current coming inside I. So what this term is saying is an ideal ammeter, this ideal ammeter and ideal voltage source when inserted to two different branches in a linear circuit can be interchanged without changing the reading of what the ammeter meaning that if you know the current in this branch if you know the voltage source, I can bring the voltage source here and the current source here without changing the magnitude of the current hence this is equal to having my eye coming down here like this where I'll have my ammeter reading somewhere here and I'll have my R1 my R3 then my R2 here then that will go into the voltage source V so this and this are the same because you have interchanged the position of what the ammeter and the voltage but yet my circuit still holds its parameters. Let's see the second way of stating this. The second way we deal with an ideal voltmeter. So ideal voltmeter, then ideal current source. So let's see the difference. The first one dealt with ideal ammeter in a voltage source. Now an ideal voltmeter and ideal current source this is another way of stating reciprocity theorem so what it says is an um, ideal voltmeter and ideal current source when connected across two different branches of a network can be interchanged without changing the reading of the voltmeter so likewise i can have my current source here then i'll have a resistor here another resistor here another resistor here then I'll have my voltmeter measuring the voltage across this network so this will be equal to when I bring my voltmeter to this side having everything in its place with the exception of what my ideal current source which will come here so I have only interchanged the position of the current source and hot voltmeter and the voltmeter reading will not be affected this is the whole scenario of reciprocity theorem now let's solve a problem then understand how we use reciprocity theorem to make things easier and note reciprocity theorem normally is used with other theorem like superposition theorem in order to make simplification 
easier or in order to solve circuit problems normally it's not used alone so i have a problem here which i would like us to solve and it says consider figures a and b below and find the current in amperes in the one ohm resistor of figure B. So once I have this, let me draw the two figures. So for the first figure is having a three ohm here, a one ohm here, and a source. Then it goes here. I have my R. So this is 11 volts. This is 1 ohm. Going out is 5 amperes. I have 2 ohm here. Then I have 3 ohms. This is figure A. Then figure B is also having this here. Then here is R, 2 ohm, here is 1 ohm, then this plate becomes 20 volts, then 3 ohm, figure B. So we say consider figure A and B and find the current in amperes in figure B in the 1 ohm resistor. So let's see how we can use reciprocity to do this work. Now, they are telling us to find the current through what 1 ohm resistor here. Right, and the current is going to be in this form because the source is moving this way. So, how can we use reciprocity to do that? To use reciprocity, we can apply this figure. So, this figure will be a guide. Now, let's consider these two figures. You realize that everything of these figures are the same. 3 is here, 3 is here, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm, R and R. But the only difference is that there is a 20 volt out here, then there is 11 volt this place. To solve this work easier, you can see that in this figure A, there is already a current in the 1 ohm, which is what 5 amperes. Now, let's make figure B look like what figure A, and we use proportion. To make figure B look like figure A, we use reciprocity theorem to look, do that. For that reason, for this to look like this 20 volts should come to this branch right to make this and this become almost the same for 20 volts to come to this branch the current in this branch need to move to this side while the 20 volts comes here so then how do we find the current so that we switch that current reports this 20 volts then the current will come to this side while the 20 volts what come towards this side so when the 20 com volts come to this side we can then make the comparison that if 11 volts is producing 5 ampere in this one ohm what do the 20 volts what produce here do you get it so now let's see how we can switch the 20 volts and this place so 20 volts here is producing a current what i is that not it yes that current I upon reaching here will pass through this place and come to pass through this side. So now let's see. Once you have this circuit like this, when I take this loop, I'm going to have what? Here is 3 ohm. Now I have my 3 I here. So I want us to do some little thing here so let's see now since we can't find there will be a lot of unknowns what you're going to do now is let's make this thing that we have here look like what you have here do you get it so if you make this one look like what you have here then it will also help because i already know the current in this side so now let me use this to help us get what you have here so now let's see 
At this point, I know that the current coming from the 11 volts is what 5 amperes. So I can bring out the current flowing here, then it will be easier for me to switch or interchange. So now let's see. The reciprocity is in two ways. It's either we make this look like this or this look like this. It will all work perfectly. So now I'm trying to make this look like this because if you try to make this look like this, the unknowns will be many and it will be very difficult. So for that reason, we are going to make this look like this. Hence, we need the current in this branch to switch with the hot 11 volts here so that it will come to the side. What will be the current in this branch? So this 5 ampere will divide into I1 and it will divide into what I2. But our focus is what will be divided here. So when you take this loop, you can find what 11 to be equal to what 5 multiplying 1 ohm plus what 3 times I1. Hence, I'm going to get 3 I1 to be equal to 11 minus 5, which is 6. Hence, I1 will be equal to 2 amperes. Now, I know that the current through I1 is what 2 amperes. Hence, I'll carry that 2 amperes to this branch. Then, I'll carry the 11 volts to this side. Right. To do that, let's see it all. So, I'll have this. Then, my 3 days, my 3 ohm. Then, my 11 will come here. So, this will be 11 volts. I'll switch it. Then, this side will be my 1 ohm. Then, it will come. By switching the 11 volts, the 2 ampere we had will come here. As this 2 amperes. Then, this place will remain. This will remain. So our R is 2R, here becomes our 2 ohm, so now our 1 ohm. So you can see that this and this are the same. 20 volts here, 11 volts, 3, 3, 1, 1, R and 2. But how do we get the current through I in this circuit? And we can use a simple proportion. Because if 11 volts here is producing what? 2 amperes in the 1 ohm, what will 20 volts produce in the 1 ohm? So if more, let's divide. So 20 over 11 times what? 2. As simple. So 20 over 11 times 2. And what's the answer? So the answer is going to give me 3.6363. So 3.6363. Zero point six three six amperes, and that is the current through the switching reciprocity. The circuit given will not be touched, but you'll be given an additional circuit which you will change it to look like what you have. Then you use proportion to solve. That's the end of this video. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to support. Don't forget to share.